But now, moving into our news, we have the uh, the tried and true fan the hammer. <laughs> Very good. All righty. So to kick it off, so uh, Sylvester Stallone was talking about the the Drago spinoff, and basically he just said he wasn't happy with it altogether. He said that they're just milking the the content dry and that it shouldn't fucking happen. Awesome. Um, Michelle... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michelle Rodriguez um, is really happy with Luis Leteria coming through to actually take over as director for Fast 10. Said um, he brings a lot of passion to the film, and it's um, it's very hard to keep that same passion after 20 years of doing the same kinds of fucking movies. So it's nice to see him there. Um, Taron Egerton, as well as... Um, is it Lawrence Kasdan? I always forget this man's first name. Yeah, uh, they, they were sharing their thoughts on Solo all together, and Taron Egerton was like, you know, I was in costume and I was with Chewie and everything, but it just it didn't feel it for me. But Kingsman, Kingsman, I felt that, and I knew I had to do that. Hmm. Um, yeah, and then Kasdan was just talking about, hey, like, we're not thinking about doing a series altogether, but if it's another movie, might happen. Um, Vanity Fair released the YouTube video with the Russo brothers, where they were breaking down all of their iconic Marvel films. Um, and they also mentioned that during them having the idea of killing off Iron Man, Favreau was like, you're really going to do that? You know, it's one of the, like, the community's favorite characters. It might not be the best idea. And they were just like, well, we did it anyway. <laughs> Game of Thrones, bitch. <laughs> um, Colin Farrell was talking about the Penguin series, and he said, this shit is looking really good. You know, he was giving a lot of praise to Matt Reeves, just saying that he's a very hard worker. He's very meticulous with the work he does. Um, mm. He's working on the Batman sequel as well as this at the same time. And he just said, like, he read through some of the, like, you know, the test scripts, and he said, fuck, this is good. This is nice. Uh, Valerie Curry as well as Susan Hayward are going to join the cast for season four of The Boys. And as well as, as, well as that, Cameron Crivetti, who plays Homelander's son, has been upgraded to a series regular moving forward. Um, Nick Offerman, as well as Janet McTeer, have been spied in some set shots for part two of Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning, um, which means that they are confirmed for the cast. Um, there was a fire in Italy, which actually disrupted the set for Old Guard 2, so they were off filming for two days. Um, the James Gunn was speaking on the Guardians holiday special, and how it's going to be the epilogue for Phase 4 of Marvel. So this is going to come just after Wakanda Forever drops. And this is going to cut all that off, and then 5 is going to start from there. Um, Bong Joon-ho's Mickey 7, which is the, the, the current, like, in-screen title for his new film, has begun filming as well. Um, Prime Video has picked up the Roadhouse remake, and as well as that, Conor McGregor, the man, the myth, and the legend, is going to be starring in the movie as well. Uh, no role just yet, but they just said he will be there. Um, oh, one is, is going to be... Who's Conor going to be? He's going to be <laughs> that, that henchman that he fights at the end. True. He's got to be. And yeah, the, like, the first should have fought him in when he was in his UFC days as well. He's he's going to be that oh that he's that guy that he gets um that Brandon rips his throat out the first time the first time you see it yeah. Fucking excellent. As well as that, um, Warner Brothers has set an August eight release for Elva Elvis on HBO Max as well as video on demand platforms. So that's actually um, changed. That's been changed now. We'll okay. get to it later. Right. Yeah. Um, as well as that MTV ordered and everybody still hates Chris show. So this is going to be an animated series, which is going to be like a basic reimagining of the everybody hates Chris show that came out prior. Um, and Dowd has joined the new exorcist trilogy with uh, David Gordon green there. Um, so all the scripts for the alien TV series are done and it's going to be shooting next year. Um, the Justified Revival Limited series will wrap near the end of this month, and as well as that, James Clavel's Shogun has already wrapped in June and is going to debut next year. Hmm. Um, Squid Game still has the most hours viewed on Netflix altogether. Stranger Things came through, still didn't cut it. I think it was like 1.8 billion hours viewed or something, but then fucking Squid Game still smashed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so the First Lady, which was... Um, at Showtime has been cancelled after the first season, so there won't be a second after that. Um, speaking of Stranger Things, season five, the Duffer Brothers have started writing. Um, J Jared Leto, as well as Jamie Lee Curtis, have joined the Haunted Mansion movie that's coming out. Um, and as well as that, She-Hulk has been pushed back a day from August 17th to August 18th. Um, so they won't be in that normal Wednesday time slot release. It'll be a day later. 
Um, the season two of the Mighty Ducks Game Changers uh, is going to release on the 28th of September this year. As well as that, Ellen Pompeo is going to play the lead in that Orphan Limited series we discussed prior. And as well as that, Joker 2 will receive release on the 4th of October. Um, we've gotten word that Joaquin is back as the Joker and that Lady Gaga is going to play Harley Quinn. Um, Patton Oswalt said Eternals 2 is happening and Chloe Zhao is coming back to direct, so maybe we'll see more of him in the uh, the sequels. Um, some of the more exciting news, Muhammad Diab and Oscar Isaac had a TikTok that came out and they were fucking around and basically said, yeah, season two of Mood 9 is happening, so that's fucking mad as well. And then they, so uh, back. And then they busted into a renegade. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Zasha Mamet. Zasha Mamet is going to join the Madam Web casting as well. We're getting a lot of fucking casting for this movie. Don't know what's going to happen. Um, they were talking about Andor, and they were saying that because of like the timeline for Andor, this is going to end after season two because season two is going to end right where Rogue One picks up. Um, the Chris Pratt-led Garfield film is going to debut on the 16th of Feb in 2024. And as well as that, Paramount Plus has grown to 43 million subscribers altogether. Um, they said a lot of the success is due to um, their growth in their independent films market that was there, um, which was like 19% compared to the last either quarter or year, which is awesome. As well as that Don Saladino, who's been Ryan Reynolds' trainer for the last Deadpool films, as well as Green Lantern, and I think a few other films, has um, released an IG picture just saying that Reynolds has now like begun training for Deadpool 3. Um, Outlander, they've got a new prequel coming out called Blood of My Blood, and that's been greenlit. Um, Omar C is going to play the lead in the reimagining of John Woo's The Killer. Um, Shea Calais from RuPaul's Drag Race is going to star in a secret role in Ironheart, which will get revealed much later on. Um, as well as that, Elizabeth Moth, uh, Moth, Elizabeth Moss is going to lead and executive produce The Veil at Hulu. Um, 20th Century Studios is developing a reboot of Working Girl. Um, Dave Bautista is starring in the new Netflix uh, movie called Unleashed, where his partner dog passes away, and then he gets assigned a new one, but he's in this, like, I don't want to fuck with new partner dogs type situation. Um, Seth Rogen's announced the title of the new te Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that he's working on. It's going to be called Mutant Mayhem, and it's also got a release date of the 4th of August next year, 2023. And as a last piece of fan, we have a rest in peace to Nichelle Nichols. Um, she was 89 when she passed away of natural causes. A lot of people would know her as a horror in uh, the original Star Trek show as well as films, but she was also in Snow Dogs, Are We There Yet? She also voiced a few characters in Futurama as well as she was in Heroes. Mm. Rest in peace to Nichelle Nichols. Mm -hmm. Condolences to your family, friends, and fans. That is fanning the hammer. Very good there, Bado. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.